Introducing first is Python, Enzo Rantan, weighing 60 points, 8 kilograms. Representing Kayukan. Then, Hudson. And his opponent is Python in the blue corner, weighing 58.1 kilograms. Representing Tap Horse now, Jack Wacker. This bout will be fought for the A-class rule, and the referee in charge, Mr. Alan Jackson. Another two lads looking quite young and quick to action, it's a lighter weight class. Yeah, I love watching these light guys, you know, loads of action, high tempo, especially if they've got good technique with it. There's a nice kick there from Jack and a nice right hand. Yeah, that was a lovely right hand on the retreat. And ben landed a nice right hand over the top as well when, uh, when Jack threw that kick. Some nice movement from both guys. It's a nice kick there from Jack. Yeah, a lovely solid low kick there. You really hurt the thud on that one. Yeah, you know it's always harder when it thuds rather than slaps. You wake up in the morning with a massive bruise on your leg. Yeah, he's not going to be uh, walking if he lands a few more of those. So, nice clinch game up, on, up against the side of the fence here. You know, Jack has got, looks like he's got double unders from our position. Landing a few nice knees. Let's see if he wants to take it to the floor, wants to keep it standing. Good old fashioned foot stomp there from Ben. Yeah, you don't see them very often, especially like in the amateurs. Ben looking very composed even though he's up against the cage, which is very nice to see. Yeah, again with these young lads, you know, they start so young, by the time they get to sort of like 18 years old, you know, they've had a good career. Oh, but it looks like he's dropped straight into back mount there. And the legs are locked in, arms around the neck, it is under the neck. It's very, very deep. But ben is staying nice and composed and peeling that top arm off. He's doing all the right things and it looks like he's out of it. But Jack switches hands. Looks like he's gone for the opposite way around now. He's going for possibly the gable grip finish. Has he got it? We can't see from this position, it does look tight though. I think he's given it up to stay in mount position. Great bit of grappling there from these young guys. Some beautiful defence there from Ben. And Jack attacking with another choke now. Straight to the head and arm choke, triangle. Nice arm triangle here. He needs to pass the side though to finish it. Not staying half guard. He needs to use his head to push Ben's arm across his own face. This will apply more pressure. He's passed the side now. Ben's doing the right thing though, turning into him, making a little bit of space. He looks like he's staying nice and composed and he's out. That's, it's great work from Jack offensively and great work by Ben defensively there. Jack's gone back to side control now. and um, He seems to have good control over Ben and Ben's defence is just on point tonight. Yeah, what a great first round from these two young lads. The grappling was excellent, offensively and defensively. That was a very good first round from both fighters. And again, like we were saying earlier in the previous fight, you know, these young lads, they start so young into MMA nowadays. Um, it's been a massive boom over the last sort of like five to ten years. And they start so young, by the time they get to sort of 18, 19 years old and they're fighting on these local shows, you know, they're so composed, they know exactly what they want to do and what they're doing. And it's, it's great testimony to, to the old school guys who have now turned into great coaches like Christian Smith and, you know, the guys from Kayuken. It's scary to see, you go down five, ten years time and you see these guys and they'll be either coaches or very good pro fighters. Maybe these fight, these fight. guys will be monsters in five or ten years time. But we better watch out, Carson. Oh, I'll, be, I'll be long gone, I'll be retired by then. I'm coming to the end of my career now. <laughs> Way too old to hang with these young kids. So, ready for round two. Great first round. This round's just going to get better. Both guys not looking faced at all.
Ben just misses the right hand there. Jack seems to have had just that little bit of reach advantage, just giving up the up your edge when they're throwing punches. Yeah, he can just stay sort of like on the end of uh, at the end of uh, Ben's punches and managed to land his own. So that little bit of reach advantage has given him a little bit of a help. But that was a nice left hook by Ben there. Jack needs to be careful and keep his hands just a little bit higher. Ben's corner now, shouting for leg kicks to slow Jack down. And Ben yeah. is doing so beautifully. Yeah, yeah, landed another lovely one there. They've, they've kind of noticed that Jack's not checking, so he's really working on that front leg now. And that was that, that punch oh. rocked Jack. Definitely, Ben's rocked him, he's hurt him. Pouring on the pressure now. And Jack is hanging on for dear life. Another and one. that's it, the referee jumps in. Great stoppage by our referee, Alan Jackson. They're only young lads and they're only fighting A-class amateur rules. We're not going to let them take too much contact. And straight away, you know, Jack drops down to his corner, so he was hurt. He was kind of out on his feet, so it was a good stoppage by Alan Jackson. So after one minute and 14 seconds of the second round, we have to stopped this fight by a TKO for your winner. From the red corner, Ben Huston. And please make some noise for your one rock, Jack Whitehouse. Ben, Ben, come and have a chat, buddy. So, tough first round. Yeah, yeah, just took me to the floor, but... I felt like I could get back up and start the second round good. So, Yeah, he was landing some good shots as well in the first round. Did he have you hurt at any point? Uh, not really. I lost my footing to begin with, but if I kept it standing, I knew I had a good chance. So, yeah, it was all right. And then second round, obviously, he came out, you know, both landing some good shots, and then you did hurt him a little bit, and then you went in for the kill. Yeah, yeah well, I saw that he was rocked, so I just thought I've got to go in while he's, while he's dazed and just try and finish it as quickly as possible. So. Yeah, and he was wobbled a little bit, and then obviously you landed a few more punches. Good stoppage by our referee here, so, and then you got the TKO win. Yeah, yeah overall I thought it was quite a good fight. Hats off to him, he did really well. Overall good fight. Well, congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, make some more noise for our winner, Ben Hodgson. <laughs>